Hi there, welcome back. If you're new here and just stopping in, I'm Buffy and this is Buffy Designs. Welcome to my channel. And today's, or actually before we start in today's video and what I'm planning on doing, I wanted to kind of do a shout out to my daughter. Um, she makes these beautiful earrings and I thought I would just share her work with you. If you love earrings and you would like to purchase some, uh, I will have the link to her uh, Facebook group that you can choose whatever uh, style you like and she'll just ship it off to you after payment. So I just wanted to shout out to her and, and list it below. So today's video, I have two semi-simple uh, transformations, um, you know, upcycles, and then I have one that's a little bit more complicated, but um, we are going to change this into a cute little uh, faux planter with some uh, silk flower lavender and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to paint it white and distress it or darken it up with just some uh, stain. So I'm not quite sure yet on that. And I'm trying to shoot for some spring uh, decor. So, you know, get a head start on your spring decor, your Easter decor, um, because it's, it's about a, a month and a half away. Um, but I'm kind of hoping that if I do some of this, it might bring spring a little quicker. <laughs> so then that's the one of them. And then I've got this piece of wood that um, it's just like a plaque that somebody had put, you know, uh, a letter A. I, I think it had a family um, of, of blocks. And um, I'm just going to take this up and change it into a cute Easter decor sign so stay tuned for that one and then this here is a cutting board and it's so cute it has these little um, looks like feet on them to stand up and so it's got also these two little holes here that you can put a dowel in to, to keep it standing up and first thing I thought of it, it I got it free from my daughter. She found it at one of the thrift stores. But I'm going to um, sand it all down, stain it dark, and um, paint some white on it, like a big thick stripe, and have a little cute saying on it with some uh, greenery and a bow. So this is, I'm kind of excited to do this one. It'll be fun. So that's my little bit more complicated one. So, um, Stay tuned for the three different things that we've got going, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay, so our first project is uh, the cute little plaque for Easter. I just am taking out the little grommets that are in there. And next, um, that fabric was giving me a hard time, so um, it was glued on pretty well, so I had to use my hair dryer to kind of loosen up that glue in order to peel it off and I just had it on there for a little bit and it, it finally loosened that up uh, enough for me to start to pull on it and get my uh, handy dandy little screwdriver there next to it um, as you see in a minute I start pulling it up and it gets right under there and started to come right off so that was easy to do after I uh, loosened that glue so now I'm going to sand this down with my orbital sander because that glue is on there pretty good. You could probably use um, a Goo Gone. Um, I guess they sell it at the Dollar Tree. I haven't used it before. Um, so I think you could probably use that. It'd probably be easier and then wipe it off and then sand it. So I just um, am sanding this down as good as I can. It was pretty hard to get off there, so maybe I should have used the <laughs> Gooby Gone or whatever it's called. I can't remember what it's called, but um, I probably should have had some of that on hand for this project. So as I'm sitting here sanding, <laughs> it takes me a minute to get down to a part where at least it's smooth. 
And then I forgot I didn't have my gloves on, so I wanted to show you that I am safety um, first when it comes to stuff. I just totally forgot to put them on. So you always want to use gloves and goggles when using any kind of power tools, just for safety reasons. So now i um, still getting that glue off of there so it's smooth. Takes quite a bit of time, I guess. Longer than I thought. <laughs> so just wipe it off and get it really nice and clean once you get it all sanded. And then um, I went to go spray it and I forgot that I didn't fill in the holes from those tacks. The tacks had left some pretty good sized holes. So I went in with some spackle um, and just um, filled those holes in. And then you just want to smooth it out, you know, and get the holes filled. Um, you don't want to put a ton on, you just want to smooth it out so that it fills even with the outer areas. And then, um, you know, get kind of the goopy part off. And it just makes it more work for you later if you leave it on. So once I've got that down, um, I let it dry for, it takes about a half hour to dry really well. And so now I'm just taking some sandpaper across the top to lightly sand that down to be smooth with the rest of the surface. So now it's all sanded and just wipe off any excess uh, sawdust. And now I get to paint it. So I just went over it with the white and it just made it easy just to spray it white. And then I let that dry. So then I forgot to show the part um, that I finished the wood there, but I cut out a, a stencil. I printed it online and just cut it out with my X-Acto knife and um, used it for a stencil and painted it with the um, black ink chalk paint and then I trimmed the sides with uh, masking tape and made a little frame and now I'm just sanding the edges to distress the edges to give it a, a cute little farmhouse look. And there it is. It's all sanded up and ready to go. Oh still have some sanding there. <laughs> and we're finishing up the sanding and there we go. So now our next project is the basket um, that I'm going to uh, turn into a faux planter with some faux lavender in them and um, just right now I cut down a few pieces of the um, uh, stir sticks that you can buy at Home Depot um, like for $1.99 for I think there's 12 and I just trimmed it down to the size I needed and I'm going to glue it to the back to keep that lid open. I'm just holding it there for a minute and then um, once I get that down to where it's kind of sticking, then I will glue the other side on and you kind of have to have like <laughs> three hands at, at once to do some of these, these crafts. So I get that on and just turn it over so it will lay flat and let it dry. So once it was dry, I took it outside and spray painted it with the uh, Rust-Oleum chalk paint. And I took two coats to get it nice and, and white and pretty. 
and now I'm just using some sandpaper to go over it to distress it to get the, the distressful look that I'm going for and um, it was a bit tough with that spray paint just because it did give a good coverage and so you did have to you would have to get some elbow grease going on there So I'm just making sure I'm distressing all the areas that are going to show and that I want to show through. Even the handle, you want to make it all cohesive. And then once that is done, um, I've got all the edges that I want. Even the back I did a little bit so that you can kind of make sure it's all covered. Now I'm doing the um, antique uh, wax where you can just put on as much as you want or as little as you want and you can even um, put some water in with this to reduce it down so it's not so dark and I didn't think about that at the time but I started just putting it on and it was a little bit darker than I wanted so I um, just kept using the, the rag and kind of wiped it off to where I wanted and then some places I even had to um, get a wet rag there we go um, and just kind of wiped off a little bit more so once that is all done then I just cut a piece of foam that I had um, floral foam and started putting in the uh, flowers into the basket and you just fit them in however you want it to look but I just like them because lavender sticks straight up usually and I wanted it full so I put all of the ones that I could in there to make it full and there you go and just play with it and make it look the way you want and it turned out cute <laughs> sure you see. <laughs> um, the next one is a the sign that I'm doing with the um, cutting board. And I'm just sanding down the um, I'm trying to get all of the the shiny coating that they had on it. Um, it was it's a pretty old piece so it was in there really well. So I'm just sanding off all of it to make sure that get all of that off and then um, the edges too you want them just once you have the front and the back you want to get all of the, the sides of it as well because you want it to all match Once I got all that done, now I'm going through that back part um, and filling in those holes with that same spackling, and just enough to fill the holes so that um, that could be sanded down. So that I didn't get the part where I sanded those down, but I did, and now I am uh, just staining it with some. Uh, old stain that I had. I don't even remember where I got it from, but it was a really pretty color. It's a walnut, deep walnut, that I wanted a darker stain for this. So I was just using what I had on hand and uh, made sure it was down so that I could get it to work. And um, now it's uh, just making sure that it's all covered and Even the sides, you want to make sure the sides are done too. See how pretty that color is? So now that I have it all dried, you want to make sure to have it dry overnight because that stain is, is really sticky. So now I'm getting um, the printout that I got online. I just printed out the size I wanted and 
Um, I'm measuring where I want it to be and I'm just taping off the wood so that I can paint that white stripe on it with the white chalk paint. And I just measured to make sure that it's going to fit, you know, where I want on there. And just making sure again, <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. Oh, and you want to make sure to tape the edge really well and straight. Um, you have to kind of bend the, the tape to make it work. So I'm putting on a coat here, and then I don't show it, but um, I did do a second coat on it to give a good coverage. You want to get that side of it as well. And I didn't paint the back, I just wanted the front. But the sides definitely make a finished look. So now that it's all dried, it takes no, you know, not very long with the chalk paint to dry. So now I, um, I traced this, and I lost the footage, but you use um, some uh, tracing paper, um, and uh, what is it called? Um, it's the kind that you can copy stuff with I can't even think I'm going brain dead um, so it's just carbon paper there you go carbon paper and you put your design over the top and trace it with a pen or a pencil and so that the print will go transfer to the white and now I'm just using a black paint pen to um, go over that part that I had traced onto it um, and then I'm going through and just filling in the parts that need to be a little thicker there and just tracing it all through and making it look as nice as I can and then um, I'll show the finished product here with the flowers and the bow. It turned out cute. Well here they are. Check out how cute that bunny is. I just love how it turned out. And that lavender looks so pretty in that basket. I have all the links down below of where I bought the lavender and the paint. But look what you can do with your thrift store finds. Just try to find something and think outside the box and voila you have something beautiful. And my masterpiece, Home Sweet Home. I am in love with this. This is one of my favorite projects that I have done so far. It turned out exactly how I thought it was going to. And I'm so loving it right now. Just look at how pretty that is. And of course the greenery I'll have linked below and that's Dollar Tree Ribbon. You can do a lot with just a little bit of money. Thank you, and I hope you join me next week for my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and come back and see me. Have a great day. Bye.